Okay, so first of all, try to understand that what is this Helen's formula used for? Okay, normally if I give you a triangle, do you know how to find the area of this triangle? Yes, very good. Area of a triangle is half into base into height. So if we need the area of the triangle, we need to know the height, any one height. Triangle can have how many heights? Yes, let's say this is A, B, and C, and let this point be D, then AD is your height. Correct? So if AD is the height, so AD is the height for which base? The height is fixed for a particular base, no? So AD is the height for which base? For base? Uh, specific to give some particular uh, base. So for the base BC, the height is AD. So I could have drawn some other heights also, right? So I could have drawn a height on the other base, uh, AC, like this one, this 90 degree. Let's say this is E. So what happened then? BE is the height for which base? Okay, same way, I can have one more height, this one, let's call it F. So CF will be the height in case, yes, AB is the base. Yeah, but anyone, any one of the height or base we consider, any pair we can consider, but the formula for uh, area of a triangle, what we had learned earlier was very simple. Area is equal to Yes, you can write it down if you have enough time, but you make sure you, you listen to me. If you still have enough time, because I repeat sometimes I give you a pause. So if you think that you have enough time, make note of that right away, but uh, not at the cost of listening, okay? Listening is more important. Anyway, I will send a PDF so you can note it down later. So half into base into height. So it depends on how, how fast you write. If you can write and listen at the same time without losing anything, then that is your wish. You can write now also. All right, so this is the formula which we had learned so far, half into base into height. Uh, we also write it as half into B into H. Okay, but now we're going to this Heron's formula, what we are learning. This is also to find the area of triangles. This formula is used for finding area of a triangle when all three sides are known. Okay. For example, it says this ABC triangle is there. And uh, since we are considering a general case, I want you to understand that in a triangle, there's a general way of representing the side. So this side, it is opposite to vertex A. So this side BC can be written by a small letter A, okay? Small letter A represents the length of the side BC. Same way, 
the side which is opposite to this uh, B, what would it be called? Of course, it will be called B. So A and B are some numbers like five centimeter, ten centimeter. I'm just representing them as a variable. For some different questions, you will have different side length, right? So in general, the side opposite to vertex A is called a small, small a. Side opposite to vertex B is called small b, and the one opposite to C will be called small c, of course. Okay. Everyone is okay with this so far? Okay, so let's just quickly take an example. Let's say I have a triangle. And I'm saying that this is five centimeter, this is seven centimeter, and this is four centimeter. So looking at this, can you tell me what is A, what is B, and what is C? Okay. Okay, good. C. Okay, everyone understands this, how to get the value of A, B, and C? The side opposite to A, five centimeter, this will be your A value, small a. The one opposite to capital B will be small b. Opposite to capital C will be small c. That's C, A, B, C. When written in small letters, they are the length of the sides. Okay, now let's get to the formula, actual formula. So first of what I will do, I will write the formula, which, is, which will look very scary and complex, but then we will try to dismantle it. And then you will see that it's very actually, it's actually very simple. So when we use Heron's formula, there is something which we need to find is called semi-perimeter. We need to find S value. What is S? S is the semi-perimeter. Now, everybody knows what a perimeter is, right? So semi perimeter will semi perimeter is just half of that perimeter. Now for a triangle, we want to consider the triangle which is uh, ABC. Okay, this triangle. Length is A, B, and C. In that triangle, what will be the perimeter? It will be the combined length of all the sides, right? A plus B plus C. Can everyone understand that? This is the perimeter of of the triangle. Okay, and since we are saying that it is semi-perimeter or semi-perimeter, whatever you would like to call, it is. it will become half of that. Okay, fine. So actually what we can do, let's take this example and try to find the semi-perimeter of this triangle now, the length which I have given. So for this triangle, A, B, C are five, seven, and four. So let's add them. So it'll be five plus seven plus four by two Not like that. See something when when something is added to it, I cannot just go ahead and cancel this one. No. What about these guys? So this two is yes, this two is uh, dividing all those numbers. Okay, not just that four. So first we have to add them, make it sixteen, and then do the cancellation. So as you can see, the semi perimeter becomes eight centimeter. Now the formula. So area is equal to square root of semi perimeter S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. That's the formula. 
so in case of these kind of problems i normally what do uh, what i do normally is i find the value of s minus a s minus b and s minus c e before itself. so let's do that here also so i'm going to find the value of s minus a so what is my s it was 8 and what was a a was 5 right so 8 minus 5 will become 3 same way find a s minus b also s minus c also tell me what is s minus b remember yes Yes, so now we know our S minus A, S minus B and S minus C, we can directly put it into the formula now, okay? So let's do that. S is eight, S minus A, what did we find out? It was three. So eight into three, S minus B was one, so into one, S minus C was four. Okay, so this one is totally relevant, one multiplied by anything, it will not make any difference. So whenever you have numbers within the square root, you should know how to find the square root of these numbers. You can do it using the prime factorization method. So expand eight, eight can be written as two into two into two. I'm going to ignore that one and then four will be two into two. So how many pairs of two are there? So these, yeah. So pairs so this is one pair this is another pair so this two is alone so we cannot take it out of the square root only pairs of numbers can be taken out so this these two when when i take a pair that comes out as a single two this will count as a two then this pair will also come out as two so two into two the rest of the things we cannot take it out so let's leave it inside the square root so it'll be three twos up six inside the square root tell me does it make sense? These two came out as this two. These two came out as over here. And these things, just multiply and write it. Tell me. Yes, it is for root six, okay. And since it is area, the unit will be centimeter square. So what do you people think? Do you understand how to work on this semi-perimeter? First you'll find A plus B plus C by two, and then find the S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C, all these three values, and then just put it in the formula. And, uh, okay. and after that, this is after that this is also an important part of the question where you have to solve the square root okay so this you practice you yes sarita just now we found semi perimeter no Half of the perimeter. Perimeter means what? Sum of all the three sides. A, B, and C, when we added all the three sides, that becomes the perimeter. So if you want the semi-perimeter means you have to do the half of that perimeter. So A plus C plus C divided by two. Okay. Clear. And then you understood how to find this S minus A, S minus B, and C also, right, Sarita? All right. Fine, so now let's take some questions and uh, you will practice it. And yeah, what I was saying is this, I have done in, in a very basic way right now. I, I broke down this eight as uh, two into two into two, but this is something which you will practice and you will try to make it as faster and shortcut as you can do, how much you are comfortable with, okay? So this will come with practice. Fine. So let's do some questions. 
Yeah, so we will try to find the area of this triangle as of now. Okay, don't look at the solution. Try to do this on your own. So you have all the three sides. Now try to find the area using Heron's formula. So those of you who already understood how to do, you'll do it on your own. I'm going to solve it anyway. So this is the first question after learning it. So I will solve it slowly. But those of you who can do, you do it on your own. No need to write too many stories. Just directly write semi perimeter S is equal to this much. Okay. See, this is the symbol for writing area of triangle ABC. In short, you write AR for area and put that triangle ABC in the bracket. This means area of triangle ABC, okay? If you see this something in somewhere in the book, you should understand that. And uh, this, I want you people to try to solve it on your own. I know it will take some time for some people, but do a little bit of hard work. And then I will show you how to solve it very quickly, easily. Okay. Tell me, what is the final answer? Eighty four watt. Okay, so that you should always complete your answer with the unit. Okay, you are finding the area, so just the unit eighty four centimeters square. Tell me, okay, how many of you know that twenty four into two becomes forty eight? Okay, so if you Okay, go on mute guys, everyone. Yeah, so if you all know 24 into two becomes 48. So what you do is you should, the moment you see a number like this, you already see a 24 here and you know that this is also a multiple of 24. So take that 24 out and write these 24 and 24 together. So what I would do is I will write 48 as 24 into two. And then you see this eight is over here. Very nicely, this eight into two becomes 16 and there is one more pair 16 for that ready already. We want to make pairs, right? 
So this 24 and 24 becomes one pair. This 16, 8 to the 16, and this 16 becomes another pair. So when we take a pair of numbers inside the square root, that comes out as a single number, right? So these two 24s, when they come out of the square root, they will become a single 24. And this is 16, and this is also 16. Two of them come out as a single 16. So it'll be 24 into 16. And then just multiply these two and you'll get 16 fours are 64. So you'll write four here, six in balance, 16 twos are 32, 32 plus six becomes 38. So this is how you should do calculations. Is it clear everyone, confirm? All right, so we will stop here. And you, what you people will do is, you will try to find the area of these triangles using the Heron's formula, okay? <clears throat>